Hey guys, welcome back. You're with Bonzi, and today we're gonna um, <clears throat> drop some laser guided bombs and some uh, Mavericks. Uh, just a quick, quick t tutorial how I do it and uh, how you can find these enemies on the map and uh, set weapon waypoints so you can uh, drop guided munitions to them. <clears throat> So we've got the uh, sorry about that. We've got the two uh, most famous, uh, infamous, shall we say, uh, uh, Sam launches in the game, in my opinion. Um, and this little guy here is going to help us out. There's uh, our little Australian JTAC. Um, with that JTAC, you'll find I'm using a, a mod from uh, SunTag. It's called a NATO Ground Forces mod, um, which allows uh, Ground Forces to also um, be uh, JTACs. So first up, how we actually do it is you'll see here in our F10 map. The map coordinates are there in the top left, okay? And to get them, you simply just put your mouse cursor over the object you want to find the coordinates to, and you'll get your northing, your easting, and then right beside that, the actual altitude in feet. So you'll see there, I've already written these numbers down um, prior to the mission, just to, you know, speed things up for me while making the video. Um, so I don't really need to uh, write those down. So we'll get straight into it. Um, Go to our uh, left EDI there and um, we'll go to our HSI page. From there, you'll see we've only got the one waypoint and that's where we spawn. So we go into data and just there you see there's one waypoint. So what we need to do is we need to add a waypoint. So we'll go to there, ground select, uh, ground sequence select, and we're just going to simply insert, insert one, add it, uh, insert two, enter, and add it. And now we see now we've actually got two waypoints. So, but what we need to do from here is we actually need to um, we need to program those waypoints. So, you see there, we'll hit the USC button, select waypoint one, and then we'll put the position in that we've actually written down. So we uh, throw in our northing first, of course. Um, so yeah, we'll just quickly throw that in. Uh, hit enter. So our northing's done, and then the easting, and we'll quickly throw that in. Go, not a drama, and then our elevation you'll see it's just there. It was in feet, so we're gonna select feet and then we're gonna put our elevation in. It's uh, that simple. And right now, after we've hit enter, we've just put a waypoint right on top of the uh, SA 15. So now we'll uh, go and do waypoint two. Um, of course, exactly the same process, just remember to uh, select your waypoint two when entering it. You'll know, uh, overwrite what you just did for waypoint one. So, same thing again. Easting, uh, correction, sorry, northing, easting, and then your altitude, and then you've got an exact waypoint right where that uh, enemy is, so which will help you uh, navigate to their position and um, drop bombs or uh, put some mavericks under the head. So uh, we'll just finish up doing that, <coughs> and uh, you, you'll also find um, the altitude we're at, uh, 30,000 feet. Uh, you'll see there I'm just showing you, okay, uh, northings and eastings are in, so we'll select uh, waypoint one, because that's the one we want to kill first. Uh, we're going to drop a laser guided bomb on his head. You'll see it's uh, just there behind us now, uh, at about uh, five o'clock. So we're going to steer to that point, and while we're doing that, we're going to contact our JTAC. We can see on our hub there that we're uh, 20 nautical miles out from that position. So uh, we're very much um, out of his uh, launch umbrella at 30,000. And we're going to set our laser, laser guided bombs up. So we go auto, uh, nose fuse, instant fuse, a uh, uh, instant fuse, and then all, also our code. Always remember to put your code in. And with the JTAC, it's never going to be anything other than 1688 at this stage in the game. So we uh, quickly put that in. We'll step it across to the other bombs and enter it as well, um, ensuring that uh, both codes are on uh, both uh, wings for the bomb loadouts. So uh, we'll just follow the bouncing ball here with our JTAC, uh, pretty straightforward. Um, and then you'll see what I'm doing down here now is I'm pressing uh, target select. So that's just turned that waypoint into a target, ground target. So you'll see there uh, um, up on our HUD we've now got a uh, steering point as a little diamond. And then we've also got a TG, TGT, uh, so a uh, timed ground target, um, which is in nautical miles as well. So we'll keep doing what we need to do with our ground. Uh, our uh, JTAC there to uh, ensure that uh, we contact him uh, and get everything set up while we're turning through. Um, you'll notice uh, that's new there. I I'm not quite sure if, if that's a new feature or not, but um, JTAC's actually highlighted the two targets. So he's highlighted the target that he's been um, assigned to uh, for us to attack. 
which is the SA15, but he's also told us there's the SA19 there as well, which is one, one nautical mile uh, northeast of the uh, first position. So you'll see our uh, target diamond there is uh, about roughly at our 9 o'clock. Uh, we'll just have a quick look over there. Mm, should be around here somewhere. Um, give or take, it doesn't really matter because it's all in the hub. So we just keep steering. Um, you know, it, it's up to you. I, I like to keep my um, RWR up on my page where I can see it nice and easy. But I mean, if you really want, you could put your HSI up there as well, just so you know where your steer point is, uh, roughly. But uh, we'll get into it now. So we'll go full burner. Um, we'll come out of autopilot. Obviously, when I'm setting all this up, now you could do all this on the ground, like with your waypoints and stuff. You could do that on the ground before you take off, but obviously we start in the air. So just simply we go into autopilot, put ourselves in the 30 degree bank, and set it all up from there. Um, nice and safe outside of the, the launch envelope for uh, both SAM sites. So we'll just uh, quick keep going through our um, JTAC. What are we, uh, 25 miles out now? You can see uh, the diamond there on the ground, so we are uh, still got a little bit to go. Um, you'll notice there you've got the uh, uh, DUD auto. It's starting to count down now, so uh, we're roughly uh, 90 seconds until we'll uh, get the pickle cue. Um, while we're doing that, we'll keep, keep doing what we need to do with our JTAG, spotting, inning, uh, all that sort of stuff. Um, I, I will say, um, you know, when we're, we're taking on these two guys, um, do keep in mind with the SA-19, uh, he will still launch at you at around about 29,000 feet if you fly directly over the top of it. You're basically safe because his missiles won't have the energy. Look at that beautiful plane. <clears throat> but in saying that, um, and that's where we're heading, just over there. Lovely. Oh, it's such a sexy plane, isn't it? Anyway, um, yeah, so he will still launch at you, but you, you're basically safe. You, you're traveling too fast up, up here like this. It, you know, what are we... Um, 400 and nearly 500 knots um, so you know we're 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 marked fucking 1.6 or 1.4 or something like that now I, there's no actually mark indicator in the corner and I wish there was It'd be nice so you can see now uh, we're almost there in five seconds so we'll go outside holding that pickle button down to drop the bomb and there she goes one away so pickle 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 um, <clears throat> now it's just a matter of waiting. Now normally if you're taking on these guys, I'd actually bank left or right um, and, and run a notch at 90 degrees to the position. However, I know I'm really safe at this stage because I'm outside of their uh, launch envelopes. Oop, sorry about that. Uh, that's my alarm going off. That's always good. Um, so yeah, normally you could, you could run a 90 degree notch to their position. Um, but we don't need to do that today because we know we're uh, outside the launch envelope. So here we go, we've got a 7, seven seconds to impact. Looks like we're tracking extremely nicely. This is the Tor or SA-15 and the reason why I've dropped a bomb on his head today is kabloosh, there he goes. <clears throat> is if you shoot Mavericks at those guys, they will shoot them down and you normally will have to shoot a couple of Mavericks at them in succession to blow them up. However, if you drop a laser guided bomb, it's only the one bit of ordnance, and they're dead. So that's why, um, you know, it, it's really handy to have these laser guided bombs now, because basically those um, tours, they're not even a threat anymore. You can fly outside of their launch envelope, you can deliver a uh, laser guided bomb, and they're dead. So you see here what we've just done, okay, I've just cancelled waypoint one as my target. Um, we select target two now as our uh, weapon select for um, our uh, bombs or a mavs. You'll see there, we've, as soon as I've selected the map, the uh, little reticle, HUD reticle, has uh, screamed across the screen there like that. That is because as soon as you select your mav and you've got it as a target waypoint, the maverick is going to try and slave itself onto that target. So you'll see there, uh, <coughs> it's uh, not, not going to be in our, uh, our HUD or our um, DDI because we haven't got a seeker head up yet. So what we do, we'll hit Mav again and that'll bring up our seeker. Next thing we need to do is there with that little diamond, that is sensor select left. Now the only reason why it's left is because we're using the left DDI. If we're using the right DDI, it'd be sensor select right. So uh, you'll see also there we've got a FOB button, so field of view I believe that stands for. That's another button I like to um, have uh, assigned to my hotels. 
So looking, uh, we know he's uh, roughly in that position over there, and we'll just keep steering to that position. So with these Mavericks, uh, with the update, I'm finding them extremely easy to launch. Um, flying at these sort of altitudes, uh, and I have tested it up to about 40,000. Um, at a shallow dive from 40,000, you're looking at around a roughly around about a, uh, oh, I think it's um, a 30 nautical mile uh, lock up for for your mates, which is quite good to what they were. So you'll see there now. What we need to do, you'll just see there, I've just cancelled that target waypoint and that now will allow me to slew that Maverick Seeker around, okay? Uh, it'll automatically uncage when you do it, um, as soon as you hold down the TDC button and then you start slewing, okay? So you'll see him there now, uh, we pick him up quite easily and we're still a damn long way away from him and we're quite high as you can see, but we're easy, he's, he's an easy target sitting on the top of the hill. So we've got a solid lock now. Uh, just line ourselves up a little better and we're going to select the waypoint again just so we can tell the actual distance so there's 10 rifle and we're going to break into a notch a little bit close for comfort in my opinion I think their launch envelope is about 8 miles I'm not quite sure but it's enough for me to uh, drop some countermeasures and also uh, enter a notch just in case he did fire because um, one of the biggest things with those uh, tours is you can't see when they uh, get the launch authorization you'll get nothing it's optical tracking so you get nothing on your RWR and also there's no missile plane that it makes them extremely deadly so we'll just trim ourselves up while we're waiting still in the notch probably we probably adjust a little bit to the left but I'm not really concerned at the moment because uh, even, <coughs> even though we're not constantly correcting our notch we'd have too much energy for a missile so it should be around about here there he is oh boom there he goes right there so uh, yeah shack he's now dead so you've just seen in a few seconds there we've just taken out two of the nastiest dudes in the business when it comes to sam sites and dcs um being the uh tour 15 because uh if you launch uh guided munitions at him uh, when it comes to missiles and stuff they'll actually shoot them down um and also obviously the uh tuscunda i can't really say that fucker real well but uh yeah um and the reason why he's bad is uh, you either get no launch authorization or uh, smoke foam. So we'll jump straight into uh, the mission editor now and I will show you how we've set this up with the JTAC. Now keep in mind that I am using the infantry date JTAC, but this would be the same if you were using an IFV 25 lav or say a tank or something like that. Um, it, it would be the same advanced waypoints. So first thing is we want to do, okay you'll see the waypoints here, advanced waypoints. So we want to set that up. You'll see I've used infantry, as I said before, Sun Tags uh, mod for uh, NATO ground forces. Uh, so we've got a little NATO soldier there. And then first uh, we got the fact. So we'll have a look at that. So uh, pretty easy. Perform task, fact, the vehicle group you want to attack. Sometimes it's actually easier to name your vehicle groups because this is just a quick mission. Um, I don't. Uh, guided bombs, you obviously want um, designation by laser. Uh, his call sign, the number of his call sign, his frequency, and the modulate modulation of, of AM or FM. So you'll see there. Uh, the next one we want to do is perform command call sign. So it's just in here. Yep. And we'll just have to reset it now because we uh, did that. That's okay. So yeah, uh, call sign and then axe man and then obviously number one. Now you want to pay attention to all this that they match up. Now with this one set frequency, uh, one three three. Uh, and then that power, you want to increase that, put as many zeros as you can behind that because that'll give you uh, a good distance actually talk. The other thing I do is make my infantry invisible so that way they don't get shot at because in my opinion they're a little JTAC and they're super sneaky and you can't see them anyway. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's, that's what we're doing there. Um, now, with, with your laser designation, I always like um, to put my guys up on a feature. And you'll see here I'm just using the distance. Now the distance can't be more, I think it might be four nautical miles to shoot the laser, maybe. I'm not, I'm not quite sure, it's either four miles or eight miles. But as long as you're within, I'd say four miles, you're safe. The other really cool thing is you can use that little measure to get the exact uh, heading to the target. That way you, you guys facing the, the correct way, but it doesn't have to. You'll see that's his, uh, that circle there. Um, and that's our direct line of sight. And I like to use the features. So if there's a bit of a feature around, I like to put my JTAC on it. 
that way uh, makes it a little bit easier for a line of sight for the laser for him to shoot so you see there he's on the edge of the feature and we're also he doesn't have to be inside on the hill there he doesn't have to be inside his little yellow um, circle uh, that means he will fire at the target uh, if the JTAC is inside that circuit you just go to options ROE so rules of engagement and you put them to weapons hold and they'll still laser so then we're going to have a look at our fighter pretty basic what you do with your fighter um, most of you guys will know how to, how to set that up you can also get your um, eastings northings and altitude and all that sort of good gear in here before you start the mission but I mean if you're online and you have to um, someone tells you a, a position or you know you get intel or something like that you can you can set up like we did in uh, the start of the mission there so you just see we'll, we'll you know this is uh, my basic loadout for this uh, run is uh, you know yeah Maverick F's and then obviously yeah, your GPU 12s um, <clears throat> all pretty straightforward with uh, with him you know set uh, 30,000 starting altitude no waypoints and we we put all that in obviously so that's a uh, pretty 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 damn easy there um, it's just the JTAC I, I know some guys have some some drama with the JTAC so um, that's yeah. You're tall, nasty little guy, and obviously uh, Tsunga, Tuskunga, I don't really know how to say it, it's a Russian word, but yeah, both of these guys are extremely deadly, and until up until this point I've always had a um, pretty hard time uh, taking them out, but uh, yeah, so that's all I've got for you today guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video.